Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to DTRM Tech. So today, we have your motherboard from MSI called the P250M Mortar. So, let's open it up. So the P250M Mortar is a motherboard that supports LGA1151, so that's 6th and 7th gen processors. What's good about this is, what's good about this is it has 4 PCI Express slots, 2 PCI x 16, and 2 PCI x 1. So it also, it also has a really nice IO shield looks and feels like it's rugged. Also has four slots for the RAM and a really nice heat sink. Looks like it's made of metal. And I think it's metal. These are the IO ports. For some weird reason, it has a PS2. PS2 input. I think this is USB. 2.0s. This is probably USB 3.0. One HDMI. That's display port. This is HDMI. One HDMI and DVI output. It looks like it's three USB types. USB 3.0s and one Type C. That it has two pairs of audio input and output, which is which is, which is really cool. I mean. Where would you need that? Maybe when using 7.1s around? Sure. So, number of fun headers. That's one, two, three. That's the third one. And four. There are four fan headers. So if you plan to add, uh, add more fans and you want full control for those fans, you will need a fan controller. You know, I'm really just, you know, I'm really starting to hate dogs. Like that sound, man. How am I going to record properly with that kind of sound? Anyway, the P250M mortar is around 6,000 pesos. That's about a hundred and twenty dollars probably cheaper at new egg let's see an lga 1151 motherboard cost 79 dollars man stuff in the philippines is so overpriced okay so if you're living if you're not living in this country you will probably want to get this if you have an matx uh, micro ATX build because I mean that's two graphics card already you wouldn't normally need more than two graphics card for most purposes unless you plan to slap in here four and it's really cheap for $80 I think this motherboard is really good so I'm going to make a build out of this motherboard and I um, really won't be able to document it but just as a bonus I'll be showing you the installation of the CPU, the processor and the RAM because because my case is because my case is somewhere else and yeah I still have to carry this there. So thank you for watching. If you like if you like this video, dislike if you dislike it, leave us a message in the comments, tell us what you think about how expensive stuff in the Philippines is and also if you have something to say about the motherboard, have questions, just post a comment. Oh, hey, look, Intel Pension Gold, the last G4560 I bought didn't have this kind of sticker. I wonder what's up. What 
see the gold. No indication on the packaging. Maybe, maybe it's just a new thing from. Hmm. Maybe just something new from Intel. 